Have you ever hopped in your car, turned the key, and been greeted by that dreaded battery light glaring at you from the dashboard? You know something's not right, but the alternator seems to be charging just fine. What's going on here? Over the next few minutes, I'll reveal the seven most common reasons why your battery light just won't turn off, even with the alternator doing its job. The battery light, also known as the charging system light, is directly linked to the alternator and the battery. Its primary purpose is to indicate whether the alternator is providing enough current to charge the battery while the engine is running. Normally, when you start your car, the battery light should illuminate briefly and then go off once the alternator takes over and starts charging the battery. If the engine is running and the battery light comes on, it means there is a significant voltage difference between a battery and an alternator. It either means that either alternator is not charging properly or there is issue anywhere in charging system. Several potential culprits cause your battery light to stay on. Let's explore each. Number one, loose or corroded battery connections. Over time, battery terminals can accumulate corrosion or the connections may become loose, leading to a poor electrical connection. Loose battery connections create an air gap around battery terminals. Air gaps have very high resistance that results in excessive voltage drop, which will prevent sufficient current flow to different engine components like sensors, fuel injectors, and valves. Moreover, corroded battery terminals have an additional layer affecting the resistance of the electrical connection in the same way. This drop in voltage due to high resistance can affect the smooth charging of the battery. Due to this, a significant difference between battery voltage and alternator voltage takes place which turns on battery warning light. If you can wiggle or swivel battery terminals, even when tightened down, it indicates poor connection. Also using multimeter, measure the resistance between the negative battery post and the cable end. Voltage higher than 0.2 volts means that battery has corroded terminals or loose connection. Repeat same process for the positive battery terminal. Number two, bad wiring and terminals of the alternator. The alternator usually has three terminals. B terminal is the main positive output terminal of the alternator, often a stud or covered nut. S terminal of the alternator senses the battery voltage so that alternator can regulate battery voltage output at around 14.5 volts. It's often connected to the battery or a main junction. Then there is L terminal which is connected to the charging light. One end of battery warning light is connected to positive terminal of battery and other end with L terminal. The IG terminal of the alternator allows direct DC current from battery to alternator through the ignition switch to excite the field coil of the alternator. The alternator's casing is often used as the ground or earth connection. Now, you should carefully look for signs of corrosion, looseness, or damage on the alternator terminals. Check if B terminal is burnt or discolored. The wires of harness connector of alternator may also be burnt. Next, you should check if there is any break in wire connecting B terminal to the battery. After that, Using a multimeter, measure the alternator's voltage output while the engine is running. You can put black probe on alternator casing and red probe on B terminal of alternator. A properly functioning alternator should typically output between 13.8 and 14.4 volts. You should keep all electronic accessories of your vehicle on during this test. Also measure voltage at the positive terminal of battery. If it is less than alternator's voltage, it means that it is being lost somewhere at the connection of the alternator. Next. Conduct a voltage drop test across battery positive terminal and B terminal of alternator. If voltage drop is more than 0.2 volts, it could indicate that the cable connecting those terminals is broken. Number three, bad battery. When the battery is old and its cells weak, it can't hold much electricity. Even though the alternator is charging, the battery will readily drain out and demand more current from the alternator. As a result, the battery won't hold a charge of 14 volts while engine is running and battery warning light will turn on. You should see if your car battery has swollen or cracked case, or a strong sulfuric acid smell. Number four, bad diode of alternator. The diode in the alternator converts AC current to DC current. It also prevents reverse current flow from battery to alternator. If diode is bad, the battery will start draining when engine is off as current will be flowing in reverse direction from battery to B terminal of alternator. As a result, battery warning light will on. To test bad diode, set the multimeter to the diode test mode. Connect the red multimeter lead to the alternator casing and the black lead to the B terminal of alternator. The reading should be between 500 and 800 millivolts. Now, if you reverse multimeter connection, the reading should show overload. Number five, grounding issues within the electrical system itself. Corroded or loose grounds can cause voltage drop, which may turn on battery warning light. Connect one probe of multimeter to casing of the alternator and other probe to negative terminal of battery. If voltage drop is more than 0.2 volts, it means ground connection is bad. 
So you need to inspect your engine ground connections which are on the chassis engine block. Make sure ground bolts are not loose and they don't have corrosion signs. Number six wrong amperage rating of alternator. Loudspeakers, extra lights, or power gadgets can strain your car's electrical system which can drain your car's battery at rapid rate. The chances are that your alternator has not enough amperage rating. So depending on how much power electronic accessories are demanding, you should install alternator having suitable rating. Number seven, blown fuses. The cable from B terminal of alternator meets at a junction box which has different fuses. The chances are that fuse has blown which is preventing your battery from charging, leading to the illumination of charging system light. Number eight, broken serpentine belt. The alternator is mechanically driven by the engine via a serpentine belt. If the belt is loose or slipping, it may not spin the alternator properly. Without spinning properly, the alternator won't produce sufficient voltage to charge the battery. As a result, battery light will turn on. You should look for fraying or stretched appearance on the serpentine belt. Also, check belt tensioner and idler pulleys for smooth operation. If you have any questions regarding battery warning light, please comment down below. I'll be happy to help. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more auto repair tips. Thanks for watching.